this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a topic video on favorite and least favorite comic book deaths of 2012. And the person who recommended this was 2000 Leo, so thank you for recommending this. And in the description below, there'll be a link for his YouTube channel if you want to go check it out. And uh, guys, I double dose my topic video, so for Dark Avenger Inc., I usually have a uh, topic video on Sunday, and then on my channel, I usually have it on Fridays. And if you guys have any topic videos you want to recommend, just tell me in the comments below, and if I answer them, that means it'll be up in a couple of weeks, either on Dark Avenger Inc. or on Comic Uno. But let's start this topic video. Uh, so, favorite, least favorite comic book deaths of 2012. There hasn't been that many. <laughs> I mean, not big ones. Because uh, I was thinking, like, Nightwing Cable, that was 2011 or 2010, and the uh, Cable came back. Um, who else died? Only person I could think of is Professor X died, which I don't think was that great of a death. And a lot of people didn't think it was a great death because it, it was like, it was overhyped and no one really even cared about Professor X. Most people thought he was dead already. Uh, especially in this, I would say in this decade, not many people cared about his death. Uh, because he just hasn't been used. Uh, so it wasn't really that sacrificial. Uh, so that he died. Um, Daniel Kingsley died, who um, is the brother of Hobgoblin. Uh, because they thought he was the original Hobgoblin, but it was actually his brother. So he died, which I, I think that I care for that, because he was actually shown in the MC2 universe a couple of times. So I actually do, I, I liked his character. So, uh, but for the regular universe, I don't think that's such a big deal. Um, my favorite death, to tell you the truth, is Zoe from Morning Glories. Uh, she had a really great death, because with Morning Glories, like, anything could happen. They killed off that main character. No one actually knew what was going to happen. There was no hype for it, so it was just that big surprise uh, for a main character that you did not expect to die. So that was my favorite death of 2012 in comic books. Uh, I can't even think of anyone else that really died. DC didn't kill off anybody this year yet. Um, they tried to kill off Hal and Sinestro, but that, that didn't actually happen. Um, they're in, you know in the Black Lantern universe, so that's, they're not dead, so DC hasn't killed off anybody, Marvel only killed off really one person that was big, you know, so Professor X was the only person they really killed off, so my favorite has to be Zoe, I'm gonna give that, because she did, that series made her death really, really interesting, and uh, I, that's the one I really enjoyed, I think that's the one that I was really most shocked by, and I think that's what death should be in a comic book, is you should be shocked. And that was the one I was most shocked by. And um, so Zoe's my favorite. My least favorite has to probably go to Professor X because I just didn't really care that much that he died. And that shouldn't be a comic book death. You should care. And that means that is the most weakest of the comic book deaths. But tell me in the comments below. Maybe I'm missing someone that died during 2012 in comic books. Uh, so tell me your favorite and least favorite. My least favorite is Professor X. And my favorite was Zoe from Morning Glories from Image Comics. Uh, written by Nick Spencer. So tell me in the comments below what you think. And I'll have another topic video for Dark Avenger Inc. on Sunday. And on my channel with my next set of video reviews on Friday. Actually, my be up on Thursday, so it might actually be a day earlier, but maybe Friday. So either Thursday or Friday, I'll have the topic video and my uh, video reviews for next week. So I hope you guys enjoy this Comic Uno. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Rant Situations. Bye, guys.